Well, after carrying this thing for about a year, I'm really happy with the way that I've, you know, turned it into what it is. You know, this has probably been my most popular video and pretty much making a heritage barkeep about five to six months before the barkeep even released. For all you who don't know, this used to be a folding six inch heritage rough rider. I've uh, of course modified it by cutting it down and recrowning it and putting a bird's head grip on the grip back here. And uh, you guys probably haven't seen it since I took all that paint that comes on a heritage naturally off of it because it was really starting to show somewhere and just it's, it's a terrible job so I went back down to its bare metal and I, I actually kind of like the way that uh, that just darkens up over time most people think it's kind of ugly but I kind of like the two-tone look but as you can see after carrying this thing for about a year recently I've been carrying it in a uh, soft leather holster and you know when I'm working all day, sweat builds up and accumulates, and you can see it's been really, really rough on the cylinder, and it's been really rough on the rebluing of the barrel too. Now the last thing you want to do is let something like that sit and start to pit. So, with that in mind, I'm gonna try something different, and something that maybe not a lot of people uses for a gun refinish and by the way we have safety checked our gun it is completely unloaded but uh i'm gonna try steal it now for those of you who don't know what steel it is it's supposed to be stainless steel in a can it's mainly used on uh skid plates or plates that you would put underneath your gas tank for your vehicle you know if you had it lifted or anything like that anyway it's supposed to be Abrasion resistant, weldable, corrosion resistant. It's supposed to be really, really tough stuff. I had to special order it off the internet and they cost around $35 plus shipping. Pretty expensive too. But we're going to give it a shot. I mean, I've seen guns done in Cerakote. I've seen guns done in Duracote. Duracote actually looks really good. The Cerakote though, for my taste, isn't going to really hold up i like to keep this thing in a kydex holster and it's it's hard enough as you can tell on just the on just the regular bluing of course you're going to have holster wear on any gun with any finish of course but uh i want to see what this steel it does and how it turns out and uh i hope you guys enjoy the video just thought i'd give you a close-up here of the cylinder uh, just what type of rust we're talking about building up here right now it's pretty light but if I don't do something about that soon it's going to start to pit now pitting is where the rust will start to actually make divots and holes into the surface of the metal and then it's like having cancer it's actually called steel cancer it'll just keep eating if you don't find a way to stop it and those pits would be permanent now this gun ain't going to win any beauty competitions. It is an everyday carry gun. It's my EDC gun. But I still don't want it, you know, rusting out on me. So we're going to give that steel it a try. But the first step we have to do is we're going to have to sand these guys here down. Now the instructions on the can of steel it actually call for 36 grit sandpaper. I don't know if we're going to go that route or not. We'll soon find out though. There's a close-up here also on the barrel. It's pretty well rusting out on me there. The bluing didn't quite do the job that necessarily I needed it to. Is she a good shot of the recrown? the sanding I decided before I went ahead and started sanding on this thing to go ahead and plug up all the holes I didn't want any grit to make it inside of the cylinder and also you know it's gonna come in handy when I applied the, the steel it to it 
to make sure that there's no steel it getting down into the cylinder and making it harder for me to extract shells later. Now steel it calls for 36 grit sandpaper, but I decided to go ahead and just use 80 grit, and I think it turned out pretty well. I also plugged the barrel to make sure that, you know, none of the grit got in it as well. But, uh, yeah, there you go. Okay guys, here we are. This is five days later. Now the steel it that I used to put on this gun to refinish it has a cure time of five to ten days. Now I'm not 100% sure that it's fully cured just yet. But by the way, like always, we have safety check this weapon. It is clear, it is completely unloaded. But I can't wait to get out there and see the long-term effects of this and how it holds up as a refinish. I mean, I guess this has really turned into a review over the steel it itself as a refinishing product. But if it's as tough as they claim it is, you know, being used for ball high racing and essentially getting sandblasted every time those guys go out, you know, I, I have high hopes for it. I really do. But while I've been waiting the past 10 days for this, well, not 10 days fully, but I'll be waiting 10 days before I fire it. But while I've been waiting the past 5 days for this thing to cure and, you know, get right how it's supposed to be, I kind of felt naked. So what did I do? Well, I went out. And believe it or not, I actually made another one. So now I have two. And I dig how this one turned out too. To be honest, I actually felt naked without this thing on me and I really did miss this. This is probably always gonna be my baby, but now it's kinda cool that I have two. Really neat. This one's in twenty two LR of course, and this is still the twenty two mag. But yeah, as soon as I can, I'm going to get out to the range. I'm going to put this thing through its paces. I'm going to see how the steel it holds up to the concussion off of the rifle or the, you know, the pistol being fired and how the rifling and the crown holds up. And if any of the spacing comes off or pills or chips from the impact or even the cleaning of the burn rings see if any of this gets removed but like I say I'm gonna go ahead and wait the full 10 days before I fire it I've waited five so I could handle it and it looks really nice I mean I like the color I really do it helps me acquire that front sight pretty well too I mean I didn't get every inch of it some of the masking kind of hid that little part right there but that's okay we'll just put some bluing over it or something but there you go, guys. There's steel it as a refinishing product for your firearms. Hope to catch you in the next one. And we'll see you at the range. By the way, the new guy is pretty accurate, too. Got to take him out and do a little bit of shooting, but sadly, I didn't get to film anything on that day. No keyholes, though. It really worked out great. Sorry it's been a minute for me to get, you know, my videos out there to you guys. I apologize about that. I really do. But uh, I've been working hard at work, at my job, and hopefully pretty soon I'll have some free days to, you know, come up. And uh, I hope I'm able to put more content out there for you. You know, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for joining. By the way, guys, I've started a Patreon at Sons of Oklahoma at Patreon. If you feel called to help me out, I'd appreciate it a great deal. Thanks, guys.